Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel just recently had one of the biggest updates ever. Adding a bunch of different cards, including some of the most infamous ones in the game, like DPE. But also, this update brought one of the deck lists that I've been looking forward to the most since I started playing Master Duel. It's actually a deck that you all recommended to me a long time ago, and that is Sword Soul. The entire Sword Soul support has been added to the game pretty much, and they are here with a vengeance, let me tell you. This deck has everything. You got Synchro Summoning, you got Negates, you got Destruction, you got Combos, you got OTKs, you got so much stuff, and it is such a fun deck to play. So today we're going to be showing you some gameplay and all that good stuff, but real quick, if you want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh! content, hey man, you already know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and I'll bring it to you whenever I have an idea for it. Oh yeah! the deck list the main thing is is that you want to at least make a level 8 synchro and a level 10 synchro and that's kind of like the main goal of sword soul pretty much every single sword soul card has an effect that allows you to special summon a token as you see here with Mo Yi, Mo Yi allows us to special summon a token if we can reveal a sword soul or worm monster in our hand. And this token, by the way, is a tuner monster. Same thing with all the other sword souls, as you see with the boy Long. Long allows us to special summon a token if we send a sword soul card or a worm monster from our hand to the graveyard. Nintaya is the same way. If we can banish a sword soul or worm monster from the graveyard, we get to special summon a token, which is one of the reasons why we're actually running a very good engine in this deck that works with sword soul really well, which is the Tenny engine. If you control a face up non effect monster, you get access to their secondary effects, which let me just say your tokens count as that. All of them, by the way, all your tokens count as face up non effect monsters. So all of your Tennies get their effects. So with stuff like Vashuda, Vashuda allows you to return one of your opponent's cards to the hand. Asuna will allow you to spend special summon attendee monster from your deck however be careful whenever you do this it locks you into worm monsters for the rest of the turn and then at heart allows you to return one of your banished worm monsters to your hand of course each of these have their own cost you have to banish them whenever you activate these effects but that goes right back into our other boss monster which is supreme sovereign if you are planning on using your attendees effects your supreme sovereign could be on the field and anytime you banish a card, of course, you don't even have to use Tinnies to do this. It's just anytime a banish happens, it allows him to also banish. You hate Eldlich? Well, guess what? Sovereign is the main counter to Eldlich since he can just banish, banish, banish because he banishes one card from the field. He banishes one card from the graveyard. Another engine that we have in here is Astley Despot. Despot is used for the Halky Fibrax line. Halky Fibrax is very easy to get out with this deck. You mainly do it by using your Tinnies and then one of your hand traps sometimes. So for an example, you're supposed to summon Ashina from your hand and then you actually normal summon your Ash Blossom, and then boom, you can go straight into Halky Fibrax. Then we can link level climb into the boy Mecha Phantom Beast, and then do some crazy combos with that. But there's a lot more intricacies to the deck. I think it's a very easy deck to pick up and just learn, but very hard to master. You're going to be making some mistakes here and there, but that's just the growing pains with all the decks. Oh yeah, another monster I didn't talk about is the boy Protos. Protos is pretty crazy, and it will probably be banned pretty soon in Master Duel. Maybe, maybe not. You know, Konami doesn't like banning you all. Protoss' entire gimmick is that you can banish three monsters from your graveyard with three different attributes and special summon it onto the field. Then you declare one monster attribute on the field, and then you destroy every monster on the field with that attribute. Most of the time, you're going to be calling Dark because Protoss is immune to his own effect. Until the end of the next turn, neither player can special summon monsters with that attribute. So this actually locks out a lot of the game-ending extra deck monsters. So it pretty much means like all of these monsters that you see right here cannot be special summoned. So let's get into the gameplay. Oh, one of the cards I actually didn't talk about, we actually drew right here. Alicia is insanely good. Pretty much what this card allows you to do is that if your opponent has more monsters than you do, you can special summon this card from your hand, and then you can activate its quick effect to tribute itself to special summon the sword soul monster from your deck. It's very good, and that offers a lot of combos as well. Oh, this guy's playing elemental heroes. We got the boy Sunrise out. Okay, okay. Adding a Miracle Fusion. Oh, he's going all in. He's going all in for everything. Wait, did he set his Miracle Fusion? Well, if it's infinite impermanence, I can cross out Designator. It. So I think I'm good on that regard. So there's a few plays that we can make here. The main one being that we could get out a Tenya monster and then go from there, which we might just do so we can use Vashuda and then return his fusion monster from the field to the, the extra deck. And we're going to spawn it. Here we go. Boom. You see? So that's one summon. One thing you have to keep in mind with this deck is that this deck uses a lot of summons. I'm talking about we are just owing them out. So we already did two summons right there. So if you're scared of Nibiru, that's where I cross out is here. We're going to activate the effect of that. We're going to return this to the extra deck, pal, because, you know, we don't want nothing to do with that. We don't. Um, actually, now come to think about it, I really should have used this first so I wouldn't use up my normal summon. Yeah. Hey, you know what? I'm just going to do the usual. I want to get out Baron and I want to get out my Grandmaster. I don't know if we had OTK there. We might have, but it is what it is. 
let me grab my boy long real quick and this is what i was talking about you can activate long right here and then we can just discard let's discard at hara we actually should discard asuna now come to think about it because we can use asuna's effect to special summon something else but it's fine then we go into the token and as you see here we get out the baron and look at that 3k beater right there on the field and we're going to activate Long's effect. Hold on. 3,200. So that would be 5,800, 6,800. Oh, that's actually game. You know what? Let me activate this just in case this guy has like Mirror Force or something. Let's see. What, what do you have? What is that? Oh, wow. It actually was. And then we're just going to, you know, that's the game. That, that's, it's as simple as that. It really is. It's just, you know, bop, bop, and then bop. Here we go again, man. And unfortunately, we actually may have to use this. You know what? I'm going to use this just right here to see if this guy has an Ash Blossom. And he doesn't. So I'm actually going to grab Ty here, which may seem a little weird, but it's it's fine. It's fine. We go summon out Mo Yi. Technically, we could go into Halky Fibrax, but uh, I want to get out Mo Yi so I can get out my two synchros my two boys we're gonna show him the taya that we have in our hand since he already knows that we just added that so he can't guess where our entire hand is however we do draw two max c's which is kind of unfortunate going to the usual man you know get out the grandmaster as you can see here we're currently at what is that one two three this is the third summon you always want to do chain link one grandmaster chain link two mo yi because that way your search can't be negated by something like ash blossom we get our draw in and we got called by the grave and we're going to add our boy long to our hand now with long in our hand we can activate them and we can just get rid of a adahara if we wanted to but i think i want to keep it for right now and i may just get rid of ty you know what no i'll get rid of adahara because that way if i need to negate something next turn i can return it to my hand the following turn by using adahara's banish effect and now we just go in with the usual man we just bring out the girl baron And then we activate Long's effect. Dude, and let me just say, I think this is a really broken effect. Even though it's just 1,200 damage just to burn. But, like, that's easily kill range. Granted, 8,000 is kill range, too. But, like, that right there, that is easily kill range. Also, make sure you never pop Baron to Fleur's effect in the main phase. Trust me, it's not pretty whenever that happens. Of course, pop it if you've already used Baron's effect. But if you haven't, then don't do it. He's probably going to send this to the graveyard. Which, if he does, he may activate its effect. Which I may just call by the grave instantaneously. I'm assuming he's going to link it off. Yep, he linked it off for... What is he linking off for? Like... Al Mirage or something. Yep, Al Mirage. So right here, I could negate with Baron, but I think I'm gonna leave Baron because Baron is an Omni negate and it's gonna pop this and I'm just gonna use Call by the Grave right here. Wait, creature swap. Each player chooses one monster they control, switches controls with those monsters with each other. Their monsters cannot change their battle positions for the rest of the turn. Uh, yeah, no? That's a unique one. What the, I've never seen this. <laughs> I've never seen that card be used. And there's the end phase. So what we could do is we could actually, if we were smart, we could have sent something like uh, one of the sword soul cards to the graveyard. And we could do something with that. Because right here, Baron actually doesn't have any more effect necessarily. But uh, I think we're going to keep it on the field for right now. We're going to activate Baron's effect and we're going to pop his Almirage. And then we can just summon and I think we can end like that. We don't even need to do anything else. So look at that, direct attack. And then to end it off, the boy Taya finished it, my man. So there you go there was sword soul in action it's a pretty fun deck it's probably one of my favorite decks to play at the moment i really want to invest more time into it but i gotta get this video edited and everything and as always with all these decks there's a lot of replacement of course you don't need every single card that you see so, you know filter out some stuff add some stuff in get rid of some things completely up to you whatever you may want to do you can do it but thank you all for coming out if you enjoyed this Yu-Gi-Oh video i highly recommend you check out either one of the Yu-Gi-Oh videos popping up on your screen right now highly entertaining content guarantee you'll love them and oh yeah before you leave don't forget to drink water